good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we got ourselves another realistic rebuild on tap We have the Houston Rockets today Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you jump in this video if you haven't already and smash the like button if you enjoy it It helps out so much be greatly appreciated I've also read you guys comments lately about the realism of the videos lately on the realistic rebuilds Especially the Spurs one. I agree. I kind of went a little off tendency with the realistic style there the thing is, though, with the NBA, do we even know what's realistic anymore? I mean, DeAndre Russell got traded to the Warriors, for Christ's sake. So, obviously, I know what I'm supposed to do when I'm, you know, there's a borderline where you're supposed to be really realistic in a video, and I know I need to get better at that, so I will. Don't worry, I've read the comments, so it will get better, I promise. But, for the Rockets, I just wanted to do the Rockets because, uh, obviously, Russell Westbrook and James Harden, that's a very... Nice duo. They are currently 3-3 three and three on the season. I believe they are playing the Memphis Grizzlies today, or they might have already. I haven't really uh, looked, because it is the fourth today. I don't know if they won or not. I'll have to go look at that. But uh, we're going to go look at the rotation real quick, because they got Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Daniel House, Tucker, Capella, Eric Gordon, Ben Lack, Macklemore. This is a very interesting rotation, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to change anything this first season uh, I have been using start today lately, so I will just keep everything the same the way it is But I know one thing's for sure is we need shooters We need shooters around Russell Westbrook and James Harden. And that's what I plan on doing today So we're just gonna set, surround these two with a bunch of shooters We're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go simulate in the season Let's see how this duo does At the end of the season. We want 65 and 17. Wow, I'm Doing good already. Just kidding. I haven't done that, anything, obviously. But Coach of the Year goes to Mike D'Antoni. So good for him. We have both of my dudes making the All-NBA First Team. How about that? That is how I like it. So we are the first seed in the West. 65-17. and 17. Let's go ahead and see what we were looking at. So we had 31 points from James Harden, 26 points from Russell Westbrook, and 15.6 from Eric Gordon. I mean... I mean, come on now. That's just amazing. There's no reason for me to get like a third score here in this video. I'm not going to try to do that. There's just so much offense between those two guys. We literally just need to surround this team with shooters. That's all we need. And I've been trying to say shooters like how Hassan Whiteside always says it. We got shooters. We got we, whatever he says. Oh, I don't even know if I'm even sound right saying it. We got shooters. We got shooters. I don't know. Okay, but we're facing the Spurs. We're up 1-0 on them. Uh, let's not lose to San Antonio in the first round. 3-1, and we're going to make it to the Western Conference Finals the first season. Man, am I good. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can beat the Lakers. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, flicks on them, and we're facing the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, let's go. Let's freaking go. We win a championship in this first season. This video is going to be over. I'm ending the video right here. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This crash bull nah, I'm just kidding. Let's get let's get into the offseason. All right, so How am I supposed to change anything? We would just want a championship, but I'm still gonna change stuff no matter what so I can hang my hat on that We want a championship in this video even though I literally didn't do a single thing I literally did nothing, but that's the way I like it. We don't have to we know we go into the rest of the video with No expectations. I mean there is still expectations. Don't get me wrong, but I mean we do have a championship under our belt so I don't now, there's not a whole lot of pressure, if you know what I mean. But for the draft, we're going to go in. I don't think we have a first-round pick. We do. It's the 30th spot overall. So, Clint Capella, I'm going to try to keep him. P.J. Tucker, uh, 35 years old, definitely getting you know up there in age. Eric Gordon is the guy I'm looking at that I kind of want to just get rid of. So, I'm going to go ahead and attach my first-round pick with him because you know kind of have to attach assets in order to get those big contracts out of here. But we want something that's going to make sense. We could get Seth Curry and Dwight Powell. Um, that's cool and all, but mm, do I want to do that? I might do that because Seth Curry would just be shooters. Like, shooters. I'm done saying that in this video. I think I've said that way too much. But if you could get Daniel Tyus, who's another shooter, it wouldn't be as expensive. Uh, do I want to save money? Because Dwight Powell's not a bad backup center by any means. It's not like, And he could shoot the ball a little bit. Seth Curry would be a nice backup shooting guard. But how good is he really? I don't think we're going to have cap space in this offseason anyway. So I guess I'll do this trade. We'll go ahead and ship Eric Gordon to Dallas. Uh, they get a first round pick in Isaiah Hartstein. Yeah, not a major trade by any means, but it is a trade nonetheless. So 
We got rid of Eric Gordon. I don't know uh, how much. I mean, Eric Gordon's a little bit older. That's why I kind of felt the need to get rid of him. Austin Rivers declines his player option. I definitely am uh, interested in bringing him back. Qualifying offers, Chris, Chris Clemens, Michael Frazier. Probably not going to worry about you guys too much. And then for Moratorium Day, we should have some money, I think, to spend like on some shooters. You know what I mean? Uh, so uh, that's what my goal is going to be. Then we're going to renounce like everybody besides Austin Rivers. And we're going to have to probably... Let's see what we can afford. So we can afford some good... All right, so that's good. We can afford some players, but not where I want to be. So Clay Capella... 16 million dollars. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of him. I think uh, him and have you just ever seen him and James Harden play together? James Harden just drives down the lane and you know Obviously the defense is gonna have to focus on James Harden and then bam He just throws it up for a lob to Clint Capella. So I don't want to get rid of that Daniel house is a shooter. So we're gonna go ahead and keep him here Gary Clark is as well So I don't think I'm gonna trade anybody. I thought I was going to but I'm not so DJ Tucker at the power forward spot right now if he I feel like he's gonna go down in overall, but if you move him to small forward, he goes up. So we'll we'll roll with that for now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way. But Clint Capella and Dwight Powell, the center spot, uh, PJ Tucker, Daniel House, and then James Harden and Russell Westbrook. So yeah, liking that so far. There's a certain power forward I want really badly out here. He used to play for Oklahoma City, and that is, if I can find him, he might not be out here actually. Let's see if he's just in all positions. He's not in the affordable section, so. Let's see if I can just find him out here. I wanted him. Meritich would be nice as well. But the guy I wanted was Jeremy Grant. Oh, man. We're not going to be able to afford him, are we? No. I really wanted Jeremy Grant. Okay. So I'm going to have to trade somebody. Uh, do I trade Seth Curry? I'm going to have to trade for a cheaper shooter. So that's not that much cheater. DJ Wilson, Martin, or do I just go ahead and get rid of him for cap space? Matu, Hamdu Diallo, Gary Trent Jr., Gafford, uh, Seth Curry. We're going to have to take the cap space, my friend. We're going to ship you off to your hometown so you can go play in front of your father and stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, our, can we afford Jeremy Grant yet? I hope we can. Don't think we're going to be able to. I really wanted Jeremy Grant. That's like the one player I really wanted. And we're probably not going to be able to afford him still. No, we can't. Okay, so that sucks. Wow, I just shipped off Seth Curry for like literally no reason. But... Josh Drabko, Wilson Chandler, Bahamute. Man, none of these guys are that great. Myers Leonard is literally about to be my starting power forward, probably. Yeah, that's how this video is going so far. Or can I afford Grant now? Can I afford him now? He would just be such a perfect fit. Like, don't you agree? I still can't afford him. There's no way. Okay, so we're going to have to roll with what we got. So we're going to have to go ahead and get Myers Leonard to be our starting power forward, which I'm not a huge fan of, uh, to say the least, but it is what it is right now. We'll go ahead and keep him there for now. We can always move PJ Tucker back if need be, but we're probably going to need another player in the backcourt for sure. So let's go ahead. Austin Rivers, we can just bring back. Alan Krabby Patty, Drew, Justin Holiday is a shooter. We'll go ahead and grab him. We'll probably bring back Austin Rivers as well because that's like we literally don't have a choice. So we're going to sign these two. And, you know, this offseason wasn't fantastic by any means, but it wasn't the worst in the world either. So I'll go ahead and roll with it. By the end of this video, I'm pretty sure I'll have Jeremy Grant on my roster one way or another because he just, I don't know, man. Him on the Rockets with Russell Westbrook and James Harden next Clint, Clint Capella just makes way too much sense in my opinion. But we'll, we'll see. I don't know. We might not be able to get him. Can I flip him for Myers Leonard? Let's see if I can just flip Myers Leonard for him. Because that's like, that would be dream scenario right now. So I'm going to try that real quick. If I can't get it done, then we'll go ahead and just simulate to the end of the next season with Myers Leonard on the roster as our starting power forward. But I'm going to try my best to get Jeremy Grant as the power forward because I really want him. I think he'd fit so nicely. Said, I've talked about him way too much. Let's just go ahead and see if we can get him. So let's download that draft class 2021. And then let's go to the trade finder if I can find it. If I can find it. And then we're going to go. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he went. Let's see if he just went back to Denver, maybe. Did he just go back to Denver? Uh, No, he didn't. Okay, so we're going to have to find him. So player finder. Jeremy Grant. Where are you, my friend? You are on <coughs> the Lakers. Okay. So we are going to the Lakers. We're going to try to trade for him. 
All right, so Jeremy Grant is making $7 million a year. Myers Leonard, so we're gonna need about a million into this trade. Uh, we have the assets to do this, so let's go ahead and offer it. Uh, maybe not Gary Clark, how about the other guy, Melvin Michael Frazier? Bam, that's how you do it. That is how you freaking do it. I need some water, because I was just coughing, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of this next season. We're gonna see how this newly not that new, but no, how this new Rockets team does. In the second season, we went 57 and 25. Giannis is your MVP once again. No surprise there. Everything's relatively the same. We got the two studs in the All NBA first team once again. Very good stuff there. And yeah, so Russell Westbrook, All Defensive second team. Can we get a James Harden appearance on the All Defensive teams? Obviously not. But we are the first seed in the West. Going up against the Memphis freaking Grizzlies. Okay, so we got uh, 36 points from James Harden, 28 from Russell Westbrook, 14, 11, 9. So, like, I'm literally, this team is just so good. Like, it's just crazy. Can we beat the Grizzlies in the first round? We've already won a championship, but if we could get two, that'd be great. So, we're up 1 0 on Memphis, up 2 0, up 3 0, and can we beat them? 3 1, and. Uh, no, 3-2? Okay, we beat them in 6. Now we get to face the Golden State Warriors. The team that has been having the kind of the worst luck this year so far, but they're up 2-0, or we're up 2-0, 3-0. And can we beat them in 5? We do. Awesome. Now, we're facing the Lakers again. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat them again. But, uh, we even it up with them. They're up 2-1, 3-1, and 3-2, 3-3? Oh, I meant to stop it and go to Sincast, but it went too fast. So... All right, not a big deal. That's fine. So the only thing I think I'm going to do, because we made it to the Western Conference Finals uh, again, the only thing I think I'm going to do is probably upgrade the small forward spot. I think that's the I think that's, I think that's the plan here. So we're going to go with that. But we're going to go ahead and try to keep everything relatively the same. PJ Tucker is just so old now on this game that, like, if he wasn't old, I would definitely keep him. But he's just kind of up there in age, so I just feel like it's probably best if I... Maybe try to upgrade that spot. Mike D'Antoni, we're going to go ahead and bring you back, my friend. No reason to let you go anywhere. And we're going to get a good, you know, decent assistant coach here. We're going to go to the draft and see what we can get. Is Tucker still under contract? No, he's not. Okay, so with the 29th spot, I don't think there's anybody I'd be wanted. Dwight Powell, should I trade him for a better small forward maybe? We'll, we'll see what's offered. We'll see what's offered. Uh, Bryn Forbes, Alex Lynn. Uh, let's see. Shake Delon Wright, MKG, a 12th pick, and Brooke Lopez. Well, we can get a lottery pick and Brooke Lopez. Eh, I think I'd rather have the younger guy, I guess, in this situation. Aminu, eh, we could play him at small forward, and you know, that'd be kind of cool, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with what we got. But I'll go ahead and see if I can draft somebody, get a nice little young player here, and see if maybe he can get some minutes, crack the rotation. Probably won't, but. No, oh, it's worth a shot. We'll go ahead, Brian Antoine. I don't know who that even is, but welcome to the team, my friend. And then uh, Baker Mayfield, welcome to the team as well. So, yeah, player options, uh, Caleb Martin. And then qualifying offers, Gary Clark. No, we're you're just a 71. Don't really think I'm going to worry about you. But we have negative $27 million. So, P.J. Tucker is indeed a free agent. Was not expecting that, but, you know, nonetheless, he is. So, P.J. Tucker might... Okay, so we got one, two, three... Antoine might actually play. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we basically need a small forward, like, pronto. So, let's see if we can find that small forward. Paul freaking George. Obviously, that's not going to work. But small forward spot. P.J. Tucker is kind of the best available right now. We could sign up for $13 million a year, and that's just kind of insane. That's kind of just crazy. I don't think I would want to do that. Although I might just sign him to just trade him because 13 million a year. What? You're not even interested in... Who does this guy think he is? He's not even interested in us. Wow. Okay. Well, bye then. I don't even know why you're... Bye. What did I do to you, my friend? Jeez. You didn't want to come back at all. You just not even... That's just so messed up. Like, what did I do to that guy to make him so mad? But whatever. Uh, we'll move on from him then. Dodson, uh, Wayne Ellington, Etoile Moore. Dude, Dodson 
might be my best hope out here and that's not saying a whole lot i'll go ahead and offer him something and uh i don't know if he'll go up a small forward i hope he does because i don't really have another option at this point all the other small forwards broke off would have been all right i guess but i'd rather go with the, i don't know man we're gonna go let's does he go up and overall he does he goes up one i don't know how good that's gonna help but it is a okay i don't know do we trade him maybe with brian antoine and uh like let's trade brian antoine dodson in a first and let's just see what that might pop up so zara smith alex lynn and jordan Poole and amari spellman so i didn't see any of those that i liked is there any other small forward i can think of that would like be awesome to get um roko would be awesome on this team for sure he would be that would be another good player to have but i don't know if i can make it work without trading dwight powell which isn't a big deal seven million dollars uh yeah i think i would have to trade dwight powell which like i said it's not a big deal if i do um dwight powell for roko and i'll offer you a first and another first we'll go with that maybe not two first for roko because that's kind of crazy um no they're not going to take that i'll even give you caleb martin no a second another second two seconds Okay, we're, we're done with that. We're done. We're not going to try to go for Robert Covington anymore. Okay, so uh, I might just leave it as is, honestly. Robert Covington would have been cool, but he will take a little bit of scoring away from Russell Westbrook and James Harden, which we just don't need at this point. Uh, Tatum would be nice. Uh, I might just keep Dotson, man. As much as I didn't want to lose PJ, T well, he was old, so I didn't really care. It's just like, the dude didn't even want to talk to me. He just didn't even care to talk to me. It's so, so hurtful, man. I have feelings too, you know, but... Uh, whatever it is what it is, but Samuel Williamson. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep it the way it is like I don't see what other options we got So one two three four five six seven eight nine So we kind of have a nine minute rotation. We're gonna go ahead and give Brian Antoine some minutes I wasn't expecting to but we're gonna go ahead and give him some minutes. So sim right to the end of this third season and uh, Hopefully we can get another championship, but if not we won one at the very least we also had a Western Conference Finals appearance so Hopefully we can at least make it to the NBA Finals. Prayers up. Let's get this done, boys. Another first round matchup against the Phoenix Suns. We went 50 and 32. Speaking of the Phoenix Suns, the Suns just handed the 76ers their first loss tonight. That's insane. The Suns look like a real basketball team this year. This is crazy, guys. I was not expecting that. But the Suns, I think, have surprised us all. They've been really good this year. So... Will the Suns make the playoffs? That remains to be seen and it's still very early in the year, but wow, they are doing some damage, that's for sure. But uh, they're up 2-1 on us, and as I'm talking about them doing damage, uh, they might bounce us out in the first round. 3-3, uh, three, three, and we beat them in 7. Thank thank goodness, because I was not trying to lose to Phoenix right now. But they're up 1-0 on us, 2-0. The Mavericks are going to sweep us out of the rock. Ooh, nope, 2-2. 3-2 two, two. Two for us. Can we win in 6? Back to the West Conference Finals we go. Now we get to face the Los Angeles Lakers once again. Do the Lakers still have uh, James, or not James Harden, LeBron, and yeah, they do. Okay, that's my that was my question, and I got my answer. So my current round against the U Houston, okay, or against the Rock, or the Lakers, I should say, 3-0, we jumped up 3-0 on them. There's no way we're, okay. We would have lost. I would have literally screamed at the top of my lungs and walked out, but we are good. So Cavaliers, uh, Kevin Love, Garland, Sexton Edwards. Wow, this is a good team. Hassan Whiteside. It's just not good enough. They're up 1-0. Okay. 2-1. 3. 3-2. Three, 3-3. Three, three. Okay, we're going to game seven, ladies and gentlemen. Game seven. At home. In Houston. At the Toyota Center. Let's get it done. Let's get it done, Russ and Harden, boys. That is how you do it. 33 and 6, 28, 10. And 11, Mr. Triple Double, Russell Westbrook gets it done. And James Harden is your finals MVP. I'm going to walk out with that. And we won a championship in the last season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Crushables, and I'm saying.